What's up guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Lioncast LM20 Gaming Mouse. Lioncast sent me this for free, but I'm not being paid for this, so this will be 100% honest. I'll be leaving an Amazon review as well, a written review, with pictures and video, and maybe a link to this video. Um, but yeah, um, I've actually opened this and used it uh, before uh, showing this video. I was at an event called Dare Protoplay where I was showing my game Onslaught and Megacorp. Um, it's it's kind of like an indie festival for in indie developers in Dundee, Scotland. Um, so yeah, people had a go using this mouse um, while uh, playing our game. And the feedback for it was, it was all right. Um, people were saying, were complimenting uh, all the buttons on it and uh, You'll see here, it's advertised as a 16,400 DPI mouse. 12 buttons, you can clearly see there's a lot of buttons on that. Uh, a weight system, which is actually pretty neat. And customization. The customization is mostly through the, uh, actually I'll show you the back here, it's mostly through this, um, I'll show it on screen as well once I actually get it up. Is mostly through the software let's let you control what each button does and what the led colors are um i've actually got here a g what is it g 502 logitech mouse so it's very similar to that actually um this one actually might give more options um I've yet to try out uh, the full customization of it yet, so we'll we'll see how it is. Um. So yeah, uh, scroll wheel fully programmable. Oh, focus up, up and down button, secondary fire, obviously. Um, and thumb buttons. And thumb buttons is something that's really important for me. I don't like too many of them. Um, but right here we've actually got three. I think on the side. So once you open it up, it's uh, it's got Velcro on the side, uh, some information here about the mouse, uh, and this is how it looks. Uh, I, I repackaged it so it looks exactly how it is when I got it. Um, so yeah, I'll unbox this and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's unboxed. Alright, so that's everything unboxed. Um, first off, we have here the instruction booklet, I guess. Let's open that out have a look. Yeah. So I don't usually read this, but uh, some people may want to give it a look. I'll just quickly flick through the pages. You can kind of see more screenshots of the software they've got. And it actually looks really interesting. As I said, I've got the Logitech mouse and the software for that. And although it says it's a lot of customization, it's not that much. And uh, this has actually got more stuff for acceleration, pointer speed, scroll speed, and you normally have to do that through the Windows settings. I haven't figured a way to do it through the Logitech settings, but it's, it's really nice that they've included these kind of options here. Double click speed, that's a big one as well. Especially if you've got a mouse that has like a double click problem. That seems to be one of the things that keeps popping up. I've went through two mice that have both had the double click problem. Uh, Macro manager, that's great. Definitely be using that. And uh, the mouse is actually really cheap, considering uh, how how good it looks and how well it um, compares to, uh, for example, the Logitech mouse. So this is the mouse itself. We'll start with the cable. The cable is that really nice uh, material. Uh, so even like it gets bent or whatever, bend it there, it's not going to get damaged. Uh, the USB looks <laughs> awesome. Uh, sadly, everything on mine is like under, under there, so I don't actually see any of this, but uh, it's a pr pretty cool design for something that they didn't have to do. Um, so I'm really impressed with that. Uh, got here, right, so get my other hand since I'm right-handed. So we've got three buttons on the side here, uh, fully customizable. I'd personally put this as the back button for like browsing web pages. This is the uh, forward button, obviously, and this um I like to use this one for like uh, TeamSpeak or uh, Mumble. That's my push to talk. Uh, 
uh, scroll wheel, scroll wheel feels nice. Uh, button here, not sure what that does. Let's have a look. And it doesn't say anything on it. Um, just the regular buttons here. Uh, these ones here control the uh, sensitivity, which I feel is like the most important thing to have on the mouse because when I'm gaming on like CSGO or um, Overwatch or something, my sensitivities are different per game. And uh, especially when browsing and stuff, I prefer to have a higher sensitivity outside of like FPSs and stuff. Um, so it's good to have that, like, so you can instantly just change, boom, boom. Um, I don't know if there's an option, like, uh, one of my favourite features of the other mouse is it, it's got an unlockable scroll wheel, so you can just go like that and it'll spin for as, lo as long as it would. Um, doesn't look like this has that option. But, it does have a pretty neat, uh, thing here for the weights. So I haven't actually tried this out yet, but I'll be able to do it here. So I'll just unscrew this. And here's where you'd store the weights. Let's, uh, so they don't get lost. Got a nice line cast thing. And it, it looks great. Again, like, that's one of the things I'm, I'm really impressed with, it, these type of things. Like, even, even with it being so cheap, it... They don't need to make this good quality, but it's good quality. Right, so close this way and open that way, okay. I would need two hands for this. Oh wait, no I don't. Okay, sorry about that. So I, I just had to like slam it down pretty much. So this is the weights inside. And it's kind of like a, kind of looks like a revolver type, type style of thing. And it's really simple, you just turn it that way to open, turn it that way to close. Um, so I'm going to take one of the weights out. Uh, do I need another hand for this as well? Oh, there we go. And that's just what the weights look like. Um, I don't actually know what one, what each of them weigh. But once you're finished with one, you can just pop it in here. And it'll be safe. Um, it's actually pretty hard to get in and out. And it's good that they kind of keep it secure. And that was the first time using one of these. And you can see it's kind of widened up to, to fit the proper size. So I think after each use, I prefer my mice actually to be a little bit heavier. So I, I like to put all the weights in. If, if there's a weight option. So I'll just put that back in. Turn it that way, and that's it done. So um, there's a driver disc here. I don't know if it will automatically uh, put everything in, but we'll have a look. So I'm going to switch to my desktop now, where I will show you the software and the mouse that actually. Is. All right. So I actually don't even have a disc tray, so I couldn't actually uh, put the disc in. But thankfully, um, the website has everything you need on it. Uh, so I just went to their website here and just clicked download. And uh, it's only 8 megabytes, so it was really quick. Um, so these are the options that you get. So we got left mouse button. Oh, that's actually really neat that you can change what the left and right mouse button do. Okay. Um, middle wheel. Oh yeah, so you, I'm actually using the mouse right now as well. Forward, back, yep, DPI up, DPI down, yeah. So we got here the acceleration. So if I turn all that, that all the way up and hit apply, whoa, all right, okay, it's pretty neat. Turn that back down. I prefer no mouse acceleration, better for accuracy. Pointer speed, turn that all the way up, see what happens. Oh wow, okay that's really sensitive now. Uh, can I actually turn that back down? Yeah, there we go. Oh wow, right, turn the sensitivity all the way down. 
Okay, do not recommend putting that to the maximum setting. Okay, yeah, apply that's much better. There we go. Right, you can turn the sensitivity up a wee bit there. So, what's this thing here? Not really sure. Scroll speed. So, I've never actually seen that option in anything before. So, it'll be interesting to well, get something up uh, to give an example. Uh, so, I'll just get Reddit up and put that there. So, Let's just look like that and then we'll turn scroll speed all the way up. Hit apply. Is it done? Oh wow, okay. So there is clearly a difference. That's interesting. I've never seen that kind of option before. And then we've got your polling right down here. Uh, let's go to. Oh, there's actually options for the front and side. Ah, okay, so left alt control. I would I would change these to uh, yeah for the if you see here this is forward and backwards. I'd switch them about personally. Totally up to you. Yeah, I'll I'll actually change one of them. So if I go to side, let's change eleven. Okay. So there's a lot of pre-built ones, and with Macro Manager, I'm sure you can put in your own custom ones as well. Okay, show desktop. All right, lock PC. Hmm. Ah, there you go. So you can put in any key here. So uh, I'm actually going to change this one to backwards. And does that change this one? So now both of them are backwards. So. If I were to go here and click that now, oh, I haven't hit apply, that's why. Hit apply. From here, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so what's next? DPI. So here we've got five options, five options for the different DPI profiles. Okay, so this actually looks about right. I like these settings. Yeah, this is what I'd keep it at personally. It's totally up to you. It, and some even cooler is you can change independently for different axes, maybe? Have a look. And you can turn off profiles. Link X and Y, there we go. So you'd actually be able to do that, yeah. That's really cool. Let me just reset it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something that's not that good is you can't put in a specific number here. So trying to get an exact number is kind of hard. Uh, so lights. Uh, I'll actually get the camera back up here. So this is what it looks like just now. I'll get that out of the way. This is what it looks like just now, so if I were to change this to red, oh wow it changes instantly, don't need to click apply. That is really cool. So yeah, I'm going to keep it on one of these blues, I think that one might be the better one. Try, I'll try a light one. Oh yeah. I really like that colour. So now we've got here brightness level. So if I turn that off. It doesn't do anything just there. Now I apply. Yep, turn that off. It doesn't turn these ones on the side off though. So I'm going to turn that to high. See what that looks like. That's really bright. And it's pulsing right now. So breathing speeds. So full brightness. That just turns it off. Yep. If we do fast pulsing, so this does. Yeah, it's really cool. I prefer mine to uh, something like that so it doesn't get annoying. Yeah, that's a pretty good option. So 
I think that's just done for... Oh, so you can actually put in the actual hex value. I think that's hex, that's not hex. Um, but you can actually put in the customizable uh, value for your color. So you don't need to use one of these pre-built ones. You can if you want. Uh, right, I'll stop that video there. And we'll go on to info. That's uh, just some basic info about the mouse. So yeah, like I'm using the mouse just now. Uh, it feels really nice in your hand. It's it is a bit uh, clunkier, not clunky. Um, it's a bit thicker than I like. I like mine really slimmed down, but this this mouse pulls it pulls off like what I like about it. But this mouse uh, really feels quite nice. It's it's just this big bulge bit at the back here that I don't really. But yeah, the mouse itself, uh, holding it, feels great. Um, as I said, I've got the G502 or whatever it is. And it's a much more slimmer mouse, I think. Um, I'm not a big fan of this like, big bulgy bit at the back here. Um, but still, I, I really like the feel of the mouse. The, the grip here is awesome uh, to, to, to rest your thumb on. And it's got like a, a little pad here, the lighting. It's got like a little pad here. You can rest your thumb on. Um, not a fan of the material over here. It's maybe you should put a grip here. Um, but that that's the only complaint I really have for holding it. Uh, yeah, it's surprisingly good mouse. I'm really surprised by it, and people really liked it at the showing. Uh, they complimented the the pulsing color. Um, the amount of buttons on it, uh, it's much more than your normal mouse. You get more, you get more of this. Can I see some lights on the inside there as well? So yeah, this was a little bit different for my channel. Um, I don't normally do like review videos, but I've been an Amazon reviewer for quite a while now. Uh, so that's why I, I, I kind of decided that I want to do some tech reviews on this channel. Um, so I've got this one for the mouse here, and I've also got one for the headset uh, that they've sent me. Let's have a look here. Got it over here. The the LX sixteen Evo. So I'll be reviewing that in the next video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, uh, fair enough. It's it's something new. I'm still experimenting. Any feedback is appreciated. Um, but hopefully, anyone looking to buy this mouse. Um, th this has kind of helped you. Um, yeah, thank you.